Thank you, Wes. Our top story this morning, a highway shut down for hours after a horrific crash involving a Douglas County fire truck. Authorities say the truck driver slammed into the fire truck while it was responding to another crash. Nick Sturdivant is live off of I-20. And Nick, what can you tell us? Is the freeway still shut down? Yeah, good morning, Latasha. The westbound lanes on I-20 still shut down. The traffic has actually been rerouted here on the Lee Row exit. I believe that's exit 41. And we had a crew at that accident scene this morning. The front of that semi truck you see on that video completely smashed. Uh, we're told the fire truck hit was totaled. Uh, officials told us the truck driver crashed into the rear of the fire truck at around 3 a.m. Firefighters were originally here because a Mustang had wrecked in the woods. They were there to block off traffic and that fire Fire truck was being used as a barrier before the semi hit it. The truck driver was killed in the crash and no firefighters were hurt. And there was a similar accident uh, back in uh, April here on I-20, not far from the accident scene this morning, about six miles down the road. Cobb uh, fire officials said a fire truck had responded to an accident on Thornton and Riverside, which is near Six Flags and was parked when it was struck by a car leading to a fire. Then in May, veteran Atlanta firefighter Sergeant Darrow Harden was hurt when a car hydroplaned into him as he was getting out of a fire engine along Interstate 85 near Cleveland Avenue. Harden's left leg was amputated on impact. He received severe injuries to his right leg. And right now, Georgia State uh, Patrol is investigating this current accident that happened again around 3 a.m. on uh, Interstate 20. And the truck driver, uh, the name of the truck driver, rather, has not been released. Latasha. Thank you, Nick. We know you'll continue to gather more details.